Hey, bitch, I could be a fantasy. I could tell you got big, deep energy. It ain't too many niggas that can handle me. Good morning. So, today I am going to the store. I have to pick up some trash bags because we are starting to renew my closet renewing my life i don't know what my plans are i don't know how it's going to turn out i don't know the vision yet but i do know where i want to where what areas of my house and like in, of my life that needs some help because i told you guys we live in a one bedroom apartment and i just renewed my lease so we'll be here for about another eight months i think until i find something else that um you know i'm letting the lord just let me just guide me and he told me to renew my lease so i renewed it it's mentally draining me not having a clean space to come home to it's it's something i can't do anymore something's got to give because we need to be happy and especially if you have kids you have to like you have to be in control and so yeah, so welcome to the video. We are about to go to the store and pick up some things. I have my list. I only get I'm only getting like three things. Um and then today I have um I'm helping a pregnant woman. She's about to move to Boston. Um so I will be helping her, but that's later. What's up guys? So before I go to the store, I had to get something to eat because I am known to go to Walmart and pick up some things I do not need. To Subway. And Subway has changed all of its shit. They just changed, like they just totally rebranded their like meals and stuff like that. And they just switched up their whole menu and it's, I love it, I'm here for it. So I got the Mexicali, it's like chicken and stuff and I'm finna eat. And then I'm gonna go to the store. What time is it? Let's get, and it has like, the sandwich is like avocado, some special sauce, tomato, rotisserie chicken, onions. So, and I know I'm, I know that I'm growing up when I eat tomatoes and onions. Like I did not used to do that. I used to pick stuff off. Now I just be enjoying all the flavors. <laughs> Y'all. That is so good. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my lunch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, very proud moment. So, I went to the store and I had three things on my list. Guess what I got? Three things that were on my list. I got one bag full of all the stuff I needed, which was coffee, trash bags, and I needed some batteries. Um, so, right now I'm about to make my bed up. And then it actually is 2.30 and I don't want to start on this project right now because I really will, I really want to be like into it and like super focused on it. Um, and I know once I start going, I won't want to stop. So I'm not going to touch my closet right now. I will save that um, for later. But after I leave this lady's house, I am going to go get the children. They are coming back home. Tomorrow is a school night. Um, so they had a good weekend with their dad. Next weekend, I don't know if they'll be over there. Uh, probably give them a little breaky break. Because they've been over there for like the past three weekends. So, story time. Their father and I are, we've been friends since like middle school. So it wasn't hard for us to be friends again after um you know our breakup or whatever and yeah like he did me dirty or whatever and that's fine um he knows what he did and he's actually a really good person deep down under all of the struggles that he is facing and he's a really good person but he just has struggles and everyone has struggles and you guys know me i am like the struggle queen so who am i to judge and the person i am i'm super forgiving obviously i'm super forgiving and i just look at the best in people rather than looking at what they've done and judging him off of that so i'm really close with him and his family um we try to just keep that peace obviously we did have some drama between me, me and his new baby mother. She is living with them as well. 
and yes I did say new baby mama he and this other girl are having a child she is pregnant um, and I keep getting questions like how do you feel about that like I feel nothing I feel like this is his life and I just hope the best and I hope he becomes a better person and grow from everything that comes his way and not let things like knock him down it's that's truly how I feel like I'm okay with my ex of five years who I've had two kids with I'm okay with him moving on obviously there were times where I'm just like in my feelings but for the most part I've been okay but um, and not like in my feelings recently as as far as like him having a new baby or anything like that like this was like a long maybe a year ago um, when I first moved away from him and then he got a new girlfriend of course I had like you know feelings about that and my son coming home telling me he has a new sister and because she has two kids as well but anyways anyways who I don't even know if y'all even care about this whole story but like I'm just happy I went to the store and got what I needed and not anything extra. So I think for the next maybe hour, I'm just going to clean up my bed, make up my bed, um, do my hair, and just prepare myself to get ready to work. I'm about to like revamp my whole life. Like I'm on a mission y'all, like I am on a mission couldn't sleep last night oh my gosh I had insomnia last night it was the worst like I didn't really go to sleep I last time I checked my phone it was like five o'clock in the morning so I was past it was I went to sleep past five this morning and woke up like around maybe 11 ish um and granted I was still tired but I knew I had things to do so I didn't want to just stay in bed. So I had to get up and um, do what I had to do. Um, I had to watch church. Obviously I had to get that in and show gratitude towards my life. I am in a very depressing, my arms look so fat. I need to lose weight, you guys. Like I'm depressed. I'm actually in a depression state right now that I'm actually trying to get out of. So what I'm trying to do is just like organize the little things in my life to make my life a little more smoother as I just try to get through everything but what can I do my battery died so what I was saying is um like I'm just really not trying to be hard on myself like I'm really depressed and when I know I'm depressed is when my house like my house has no order and I have no order. I'm just going with the flow in life. And that's when bad stuff happens. And uh -uh. So I'm really just trying to check that and check my mindset. And just make sure that um, my couch is dirty. So I don't want you guys to see my whole freaking house is dirty right now. So I just want to make sure I kind of get some type of order before the kids come back. Because once they come back, I have to multitask. And I just haven't been the greatest at multitasking lately. And... I'm just super like drained not drained but I'm um, I'm not happy like I'm not as happy as I can be and I know I can get there and I know I will get there um, I just got to listen to my intuition follow the steps that I need to follow and I will get there I think I'm just gonna stick to my guns and just really jump on jump out on faith with this one um although i am quite scared because you're so like it's so funny how we are like we're just like scared to like fail and then not be able to um come back i guess i don't know i don't know what i'm scared of but i am about to get ready to go and help um, this lady, she's moving to Boston. She's pregnant and she needs help cleaning out like her apartment and stuff like that. Boston. They're moving to Boston. Like, I've never been a. I need to travel more, honestly. Um, but like I was saying, Boston. So cold out there, isn't it? Like, I don't know. Massachusetts. 
Is it cold out there? Really, all I'm finna do is my edges. <laughs> I'm finna do my edges. I'm finna leave this bun like this. Um, I do plan on dyeing my hair red. Um, just a matter of when. When am I gonna dye my hair? So that's what I'm finna do, y'all. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. And I um, will talk to you guys in my next one.